Oh my gosh. What in the... Is that a 40 foot pipe or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Stop filming and come help me. <laughs> So yesterday we got the pavers down along the back side of the house to uh, prevent <laughs> the skunks, armadillos, rats, etc. from burrowing in under the house and taking up residence there for the winter. Uh, but we got to get all the way around the house. So this morning we are working on this little alcove which if you watched any of our previous videos, this is the corner of the garden of death. <laughs> we ripped out a whole bunch of stuff here, including bones. We still get bones coming up to the surface. They just keep working their way up out of the ground. It's really kind of disturbing. <laughs> anyway, um, we're not working on that part, but we are gonna put pavers along this side. We already did right here. Earlier this spring when we worked on this cover for the crawl space, we actually put pavers in here, which is what gave us the idea for this whole thing to begin with. So we're gonna finish this out along this uh, whole section here. We haven't had anyone burrowing in there that we can see, but we're trying to discourage that from happening. And so we're gonna get this done fast and quick this morning. It's a beautiful fall morning. It's misty and no sun. It's perfect working conditions, so we're gonna get to work. So when we replaced this cover here and made this new cover for airflow under the house, we put in these papers right here and that's worked really great. So we are going to do this same thing along here. This is the disgusting area we have to work with, all kinds of debris and <laughs> more rocks to pull away from the house, but it is definitely going to help us uh, clean up this area. Well, everything always takes longer than you think it's going to. So we're an hour in and it's looking good, but all we've done is raked and picked up all the crap that's been in the yard in this area, which is, includes a lot of garbage and pottery and bones. So we had to run into town to get a few more pavers because we were just a little bit short. So Mark's doing a good job while I just sit here and do video. This is a very good job for me. I like the way this works out. <laughs> good job, sweetie. This has got a little bit further to go. I can, oh, so, <laughs> maybe I can't get it in there. There we go. Oh man, what do you think? Good job. Okay. Here. Glad I didn't have to lift that, that looked heavy. <laughs> I can put this, uh, right? Do it, right? Fabulous. Okay. Perfect fit. It says, if you planned it. <laughs> it's called math, my friend. <laughs> well, it took us a lot longer to get this done than we thought. I mean, this is a very short space, but we actually ended up with a lot of work to do. So, I don't know if you remember, in this corner, there was some really ugly rocks and concrete. We pulled all that out and we were able to salvage this big piece to really block the holes in this corner. So that looks much better. And we managed to get all the ground graded and pretty much level. Um, it goes up a little bit here. The whole house is on a slight hill. And then this, huge stone is really heavy it took both mark and i to lift it uh but that is off the cap of the well so if you watched our video 
of what's in the well. I'll put a link in it below because it's pretty fun. Uh, but this is the cap off of the well. And that makes a perfect fit for that corner to keep uh, varmint out of the hole that was right there where that big long pipe came out of. So that works out great. And then all this paper, and since there's a grade, we've got to step down right there, but that works out okay. So overall, I think it's good. We're down to the last little bits and pieces, but it's just to uh, keep the critters at bay. Well, thanks for joining us at Strong's Little Farmhouse. We're really glad to have got this project done. We still have the back of the house to do tomorrow, so we're going to call this a wrap. A wrap. Mmm, wrap. <laughs> if you enjoyed our videos, we'd really love it if you would like it and subscribe. That really helps our channel grow. And share it with some friends because we're all having fun and we want you to have fun too. Like and subscribe. Do it now.